Hello and welcome to Strat News Global. Last week I was in Kazan, Russia to attend the uh, BRICS summit and of course uh, report on the developments there. Of course, uh, from the Indian perspective, the main um, focus was on the uh, bilateral meeting between uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and President Xi Jinping of China. But uh, if you look at the wider perspective on uh, BRICS, which uh, started off as a grouping of four uh, countries, Brazil, Russia, India and China, and then South Africa joined it. And uh, the way it has travelled in 16 summits over the years, uh, I think uh, BRICS is evolving as a force to reckon with. So what was different this time? So what did uh, BRICS in Kazan achieve? First, it gave uh, Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, a leg up in his international standing. It was out and out a Putin show of strength. He not only demonstrated uh, to the West that he is not isolated, but also got uh, many more multilateral uh, meetings going on the sidelines of uh, BRICS. And of course, uh, the BRICS plus expansion has taken place. As all of you are aware, five different countries uh, from two different continents have uh, joined uh, BRICS. Uh, two, of, two of them from Africa, Egypt and Ethiopia, and three from uh, West Asia, that is uh, Iran, uh, Saudi Arabia and uh, UAE, uh, became members of BRICS. Although the name will remain the same, now it is uh, no longer BRICS alone, but it's BRICS Plus. That's the second big achievement. And the third, of course, that he got uh, the other countries uh, interested in the BRICS forum. So you had Indonesia being represented there, there was Sri Lanka at the official level, and there were several other countries from Africa and uh, Asia which uh, showed interest in trying to become members of BRICS. That was a big triumph for uh, Vladimir Putin. Uh, BRICS provided uh, the platform or the venue for India and China to uh, initiate the thaw in their frozen relationship where Prime Minister Modi and President Xi Jinping met on the sidelines of BRICS and initiated a new uh, process to disengage militarily at the uh, line of actual control and of course uh, then take the process forward. But more than that, uh, BRICS also showed that India uh, is playing the game right in international politics. It is uh, an important member of BRICS. China, of course, drives it because of its size of its economy, size of its uh, military and uh, being the most powerful member of the BRICS. But India is uh, also using BRICS uh, for a very uh, strategic uh, kind of a approach to international politics. It is the only country which is a member of BRICS on one side, which is not necessarily um, openly anti-Western alliance, but uh, it's a grouping uh, which is uh, not pro-West, certainly. And India is also a member of the Quad and, uh, of course, uh, has uh, good or, you know, uh, relations, uh, good relations or uh, erratic relations with the West be it uh, Germany, be it uh, United States, UK, uh, France. Uh, India is the only country which has uh, put in both the uh, camps, if you want to say. And of course, uh, India is an important member of the SCO. Therefore, BRICS was interesting in terms of how international uh, systems are evolving. It's uh, quite far away from uh, having an alternate uh, currency, international currency for dollar. But uh, at the moment, the countries have agreed to trade in their national currency, which itself is a, a good step forward for an alternative to dollar or um, the internationally accepted currency. That's where I think the importance of the BRIC summit in Kazan lies. Let's wait and watch uh, about what happens in the next BRICS summit, which is going to be in Brazil. 
Uh, of course, the Brazilian president did not uh, come and attend uh, the summit this time. That was a notable absence. But uh, BRICS is uh, gaining uh, some traction in countries which want to hedge their bets. Uh, they also uh, want to come up with uh, alternative supply chains. Also, uh, they uh, want to see that uh, expanding markets can be uh, given uh, to uh, these big countries. Like the three big players in BRICS are, of course, uh, China, India and Russia. So therefore, uh, it will be watched very carefully. I'm sure it has been watched ca very carefully in the Western capitals. And let us see what the reaction is going to be in the medium term from the Western capitals about BRICS going forward.